how how does this thing work? You uh you find a suitable program for me, and if it's something I like, then you enroll me in that program. Actually, ma'am, first of all, let me uh, clear it for you that I'm not the one who would be enrolling you. My job is just to verify your information, and then I will bring you a Medicare specialist from your area. First of all, they will conduct a Medicare review for you to make sure that they check all the benefits, all the options which are Okay, well, what, 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 what was the first guy's job? I, I mean, he asked me all the questions and then transferred me to you. So why do you need two guys to do one job? You're going to ask me the same question the first guy asked. No, it no, doesn't ma'am. make sense. Then you yeah. transfer yeah, me to a third person. Actually, ma'am, let me, let me tell you. Uh, we have a qualification department who uh, make calls to the Medicare beneficiaries like you. Then they ask them if they are willing to uh, know more about the additional benefits. Right? So if somebody says yes, just like you said yes, then they transfer those individuals to, towards us. So then we, we are the ones who have the access of like uh, bringing the Medicare specialist, right? So I'll be uh, checking your zip code, that is 38614 from uh, Mississippi, right? Right. So now uh, I'll bring you a Medicare specialist from Mississippi Department so they can help you to get you the additional benefits, okay? Okay. All right. So uh, I can see over here you have mentioned that you have both Medicare parts A and B, the red, white, and blue Medicare card, right? Right. You see, that's that's what I'm saying. He asked the same question. So I don't know why it took two of you all to ask the same question. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry for asking you the same question. As you know, sometimes uh, sometimes we get new agents. Yeah, sometimes we get new agents who are trainees. So most of the times they make mistakes while writing the names or like providing us, you know, the information of the customers. So that's why that's the reason we try to uh, like. Uh, double check the information to make sure that there is made no mistake, okay? Okay. Yeah, so uh, how do you spell your first name, by the way? B O N I T A. Alright, B O N I T. Look, uh, he has written B E, which means he has made a mistake. Um, and you la- your last name is Hardmon, H A R D M O N, right? Right. Alright, that's a beautiful name, I like it. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. You're welcome. And you were born in... Right? Yes. All right. By the way, you are sounding pretty young. I thought you would be in your late 40s. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. You're welcome. So, ma'am, uh, that's all the pretty much information I needed uh, to verify. Now, I'm going to go ahead and connect you with the Medicare license in from Mississippi Department. So they can help you to get you the additional benefits, which now you are eligible for, okay? Okay. Yeah, and this call will override any do not call directory that you might be registered on. Do I have your permission to go ahead and connect you with the Medicare license? You can. No? You can. Is that a yes? Uh-huh. I mean, is that a yes, ma'am? I say you can do that. You can go on and transfer yeah, me. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Actually, ma'am, uh, let me explain it to you. By saying yes, you get no obligation to buy something or to change your existing policy. And I'm required to get either a clear yes or no from you. So I'll repeat my statement. You can say either yes or no so we can proceed the call. Okay? Oh, okay. Well, the Medicare really sent us out a letter, mm-hmm. and it was telling us two things. Mm-hmm. Not to do. They sent out this booklet once a year called Medicare and You, and they sent out an extra letter. And that mm-hmm. letter says, mm-hmm. definitely not to do two things. Don't mm-hmm. say that word, Y-E-S, over the phone. Mm-hmm. People can All take right. your voice and mm-hmm. get that word and do some ele- electronic fraud stuff with that word coming from mm-hmm. you. Okay, so you that. can't say that. Another thing to tell you, do not mm-hmm. give out your medical ID number over the phone unless you made the call yourself. All you right. see, if I made the call, and they said, mm-hmm. you get the call from a TV or an ad, if mm-hmm. I made the call, then I know 
who I'm speaking with. Then I know that I can give the number out. But if someone calls the house, I really don't know who you are or who the first man is or who the third man is. Yeah. So so they said they said that these people would be definitely be trying to get that word out of you. Do not mm-hmm. give them that. But they can use right. your voice to electronically mm-hmm. open some things. Mm-hmm. And do not give out your Medicare ID number. Now, I tried to explain that to the first guy, but he wasn't comprehending. He wasn't understanding what I'm saying. So I'm telling it to you. Mm-hmm. A lot yeah, of I scammers do- out there, they can do I- a lot of fraudulent things with your ID number, your medical number, and with that word. Yes, ma'am. I totally understand that, and I do respect your privacy. I'm not asking you to say yes. I'm not asking you to say yes, uh, and I told you that by saying yes, you get no obligation to buy any anything to change your existing policy or to sign up for something new. It is just that we have to uh, follow some specific rules and regulation. Like I said, you could you could either say yes or no, but unless uh, you say either of these two words, yes or no, I would I would not be able to connect you with the license agent. Right? My job is just to make I, sure. I, I, I know, so you tell, the, the letter tells me not to say it, and you tell me it's okay to say it. So who am I supposed to believe, the Medicare what? people or that, that that's legitimate, or you, somebody mm-hmm. who I really don't know? Actually, ma'am, you got, a, you, got, you got a point, and I totally, uh, I totally understand that. But like I said, I already mentioned it to you that either, uh, even if you say yes, you get no obligation to buy anything, to change anything, or to sign up for something new, or to provide us any information that you don't want to provide us, right? I said either you can say yes or no. It's totally up to you. If you are not comfortable with saying yes, you could say no, so I can hang up the call. Well, I understand. I understand you're telling me to say, I understand you're telling me to say either one. I understand that. But you really want me to say Y-E-S. That's what you re- That's what you told me to say. No, now no, you're saying you can no, say the no, one. Ma'am. You, no, you, ma'am. Yes, you I, did. You said, ma'am, we're going to have to have that word from you. We we can't I have said, anything else. Yeah, we're going to have to have a Y-E-S. That's what you said. Me, yeah, ma'am, let me repeat myself once more. I said that I'm required to either get a yes or no from you. That's what my company requires me to. If you say no, well, you I'll know that's kind of dumb because if I've if, if I've come this far, if I went through one agent and then mm-hmm. going through another agent, and I'm completely mm-hmm. agreeing with you to send me to the third agent, why mm-hmm. do I why do I have to say the word Y E S? Why do I have to say that? Actually, ma'am, uh, our company uh-huh. requires me. Uh-huh. Our co- requires me. We have specific. Yeah, regu- well, well, the Medicare people told us why. You all want us to say that word. They'd already told us why. That's right, why they're telling us not right, to say man. I totally, I totally understand your concern. If you are not willing to say yes, you could say no, and we will just, you know, end up the call. I'll let you well, go. I don't have to. I really don't have to say anything. I right, mean, if you that, can't get me to the third person without a Y E S or a N O, then we might as well end the conversation. All right, ma'am. If well, you can't uh, get me to the third well, party. I tried to explain it to you by every means I could possibly. Yeah, and I'm trying to explain it to you what the Medicare people said. I'm trying to explain it to you. Medicare is Medicare is a different organization. That is a government organization. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. You're gonna need my Medicare number in order to move forward. Whoever that third party is, they're gonna ask me for my Medicare ID number. So don't tell me Medicare is different. they are Not the license different. agent, ma'am. They are the license agent. I uh, don't care who they are, sir. They're going to need my Medicare ID number, something so that since, they're not going to get. All right, ma'am. So since you are not willing to, uh, like, provide us any of your information or to say no, other I, I don't know? feel like being and, scammed today. Uh, ma'am, we are not trying no. to scam you. I totally... Uh, respect your privacy, and if you don't want to uh, say yes or no, well, I'm quite sure just, if if you were a, I'm quite sure if you were a scammer, I didn't say you are, but if you were, quite naturally, you're going to tell me you're not. Oh, of course, man, we, we we're not doing that. We're criminals, but we're not going to let you know. Duh. <laughs> Well, ma'am, let me tell you, yeah. since, you are, since you are being too Smart skeptical, 
Since you are b- being too skeptical, I'll let you go. Uh, and once you decide to like feel comfortable to talk to us, you can tell me. I'll give you a call back. Otherwise, you don't have to like talk to us. That there no, is no. I, I know there no there are guarantee. plenty. There are plenty all over the TV set, all over the newspapers, all over the magazine, all over flyers coming to your mailbox. There are plenty of numbers that I can call if I want right, additional right. benefits. I don't right, have ma'am. to take anybody's word to call my phone. A lot right, of scammers no call here right. all day long. Right, yeah, I got sorry. scammers calling wanting my credit card number. They want mm-hmm. my Medicare number. They want mm-hmm. the information about my car, information about my house. They got Amazon saying somebody is hacking to your account. Then they want you to go to your computer and type in all kinds of crazy mm-hmm. crap. Then they want the information about your TV. And oh, oh, they just scammers are called trying to get your personal information, but they yeah. don't know. They don't run up against a, a, a Christian holy woman. And yeah. God don't have no dumb people out there. Yeah, unfortunately such things happen. But like I said, uh, we are not supposed do. to ask you about any of your credit cards, debit cards, social security, Medicare. We are not asking you for any yes, of Yes, but you're things. asking, they're going to ask me about my Medicare ID number, sir. What is wrong with you? So, ma'am, the let me Medicare tell you. Medicare ID me tell, is yeah. a very personal number. Ma'am, let me tell you, it, it, it used to be, yeah, it used to be your social security is your No, American. no, 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 I know it used to be uh, your, so I know, uh, I know it used to be your social security number, but it's still a very personal number. It still uh, is. We got uh, this letter this year. Every year we get the same letter. They mm-hmm. know, Medicare knows that the number has changed. Your, your, uh, social security is not on there anymore. But yet we mm-hmm. still get those letters. Protect your medical ID number. Social security mm-hmm. or no social security. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, so ma'am, uh, uh, okay, in that case, I'll let you go. We don't have to, like, you know, force each other since you are not willing to, uh, like, either say yes or no. I don't have, uh, any control over you and I won't, uh, ask you for anything anymore. So you have a good day. Appreciate exactly. your time, ma'am. All right. You have a good day. Appreciate your time. Bye-bye.